Do you make art for you or do you make it for others? Are you making it for yourself or for your audience? Do you want to get burned out in 15 seconds because you're making uh, stuff that you don't want to make just to soullessly appeal to some algorithm? Or are you making it for just yourself and no one cares because you're basically just masturbating on camera, huh? Which, which of these two extremes is it? Is there a middle ground? Yeah, there's a middle ground uh, and I'm gonna suggest following the middle because I'm a centrist. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you a story. Uh, on my deathbed, I'm gonna tell myself, damn, I should have made more art. That's my last thought before I die. I already know this. And that's great. I appreciate that. That's been good for me. I like having an orienting internal force that tells me what kind of art to make. And uh, yeah, I appreciate that, God. Thank you for giving me that. If I didn't have that, uh, then I would be just spinning around in circles, disoriented, lost in noise, uh, more schizophrenic than before. So you're a real one God could have done without the schizophrenia in the first place But beggars can't be choosers. I guess anyway. Yeah, so my internal compass points me towards making art That's just who I am. That's my core identity um, Everything else is just kind of feels like a mask I'm wearing but the art stuff has always felt real uh, so um, my internal compass points me towards making art, but then there's also this force of the audience that wants things from me as well. Uh, that is kind of the dichotomy that every artist needs to wrestle with. How much of this am I doing to appeal to others, and how much of this is just something that is going on in my own head? Uh, if you're completely internally motivated, you run into risks, which is like, are you making stuff that people enjoy? Are you making stuff that people will get value from? Or are you just sort of uh, mentally masturbating, jacking off your head, uh, flip, flip, flipping the bean that is your pineal gland? Um, or are you simply creating stuff as like uh, a way of filling a market demand? Because that's pretty gross too, I gotta say. Uh, just like, whatever people want of me, I will become. In that case, you have no internal compass pointing you towards art. You have a, a compass that's just saying, Oh, what do you want me to do? What do you like? Uh, okay, I'll do that. And then guess what? Anyone can do that, you loser. Anybody can just follow the whims of the market. You're, you're just a replaceable cog in a the machine. There are a lot of YouTubers like this who have a totally transactional relationship with their audience. And anyone could replace them at any time because they're not important. They're not actually a person. They're just like a manifestation of a market demand. So both of these extremes are kind of bad. If, you, uh, if you're just making stuff for like other people, first of all, if you're internally motivated at all, like I am, you will burn out. Like you're not gonna wanna do it. Uh, and then second of all, even if you are motivated purely externally, then you are re you're replaceable. Now on the other hand, if you're completely internally motivated, very likely that uh, you will not find a, a market uh, for your stuff because you're too deep down whatever dopamine rabbit hole happens to specifically appeal to you. You're telling some intricate story about some fantasy land that uh, people don't care about and you don't even know people don't care about it because you're too deep. You're too deep in your own thoughts. You're too deep in your own head. Have you had a conversation with another human being about this? Have, ha, has another human being said, oh, that's cool. Uh, let me help you flesh this out. Or is it just you alone in your room for years? Um, a lot of great fantasy novels have been people alone in their room for years, but I would assume at some point they got someone to read their script, you know, and give them feedback. Uh, what is the universal truth behind what you're doing? Sometimes you can stumble upon it just internally, but I do think somewhere in the middle, somewhere between those two extremes is, is probably where uh, you should be. You know, you want to appeal to an audience, you want to make sure that the audience um, is getting some value from what you're doing. But also, but also, uh, if you're making art that uh, is too much in either direction, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I can, if, I, if, if there's much to say beyond that. But in, in the question of like, is this for me or is this for someone else? Is this for me or is this for someone else? Maybe just, <laughs> shut up and make your art. How about that? Idiots! <laughs> oh no, my microphone. <laughs> uh, 